Today, for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about comparing decimals. We're going to be using our knowledge and understanding of place value to compare two decimals. We're also going to be using our place value chart. We're also going to be using some visual models to help us. So let's go ahead and get started. So remember, these are the symbols that we use to compare numbers. We have greater than, less than, and equal. To, and we'll be using those today to help us compare these decimals. So let's take a look at our first decimals we have. The first ones here we have, um, and this is how you read it and say it, is 43 hundredths. And I say 43 hundredths because that three ends in the hundredths place. So 43 hundredths and 34 hundredths, okay? So in order to compare these, I'm gonna first use a place value chart, okay? So I'm gonna take my 43, I know the four is in the tens place, and the three is in the hundredths place, okay? Then I'm gonna look at my 34 hundredths, I know I have a three in the tens place, so I gotta put my decimal point there, and a four in the hundredths place, okay? So, just like when I compare whole numbers, I'm gonna start with the largest place value. In this case, the largest place value is the tenths. Okay, so I'm going to look at the tenths place and I see a four in the tenths place and I see a three in the tenths place. So I know four tenths is more or greater than three tenths. So I don't even need to really look back at the hundreds place because I have already been able to compare them here. Okay, so right now I'm thinking that 43 hundredths is my biggest one. Let's go ahead and draw this out. Okay, it might help us. So again, this one right here is 43 hundredths. So now I'm gonna have, I have that four tens here, the three hundredths. All right, and then my next one is the three tens. And then I have four hundredths, okay? So 34 hundredths may have more ones here that I just colored in, but this one has four tens. So I know that 43 hundredths is greater than 34 hundredths, okay? Let's do another example, okay? This time, we're gonna be comparing these two numbers, okay? So when I look at these two numbers, at first glance, I want to say that 56 hundredths is bigger, okay, because it has more digits. Usually numbers that have more digits are usually greater, but on the right side of the decimal, this is different. So let's go ahead and look at our place value chart. So if I have 56 hundredths, I know I'm going to have a 5 in the tenths place and a 6 in the hundredths place. And then this number right here is six tenths. And I know that because the six ends in the tenths place. So again, I'm going to look at the largest place value. And in this case, it is the tenths. Okay. And I have a five tenths and a six tenths. Well, I know that six tenths is greater than five, even though the five and six, the, the 56 hundredths has more digits, the 6 tenths is larger, okay? And we can prove that over here by drawing it out. Let's go ahead and draw out our 50, 600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then coloring in 6 tenths, 4, 5, 6, okay? So I know based on my drawing here that 6 tenths is bigger. And it's not that much bigger. It's one, two, three, four, five. Oops, did I not do that? It is four hundredths greater, okay, which is a small margin, but six tenths is still the larger number. So 56 hundredths is less than six tenths. So as you begin to compare decimals, think about using your place value chart and drawings to help you.